to my channel and welcome to day two of Glitter Week. In case you missed my first Glitter Week tutorial and don't know what Glitter Week is, it is a week, seven days of seven glitter tutorials. Um, basically, they're just makeup tutorials and there will be glitter incorporated into them somehow. And I'm doing Glitter Week to celebrate my 27th birthday. Anyway, I really hope you enjoyed the series. This is today's look, so I've incorporated the glitter to the inner corners of the eyes. I just wanted to do something that was a little bit more wearable. Oh, actually, real quick, before I get into the tutorial, if you recreate any of my Glitter Week looks, please feel free to use the hashtag RBGlitterWeek, which I will put here um, on Instagram so that I can see them because I would absolutely love to see what you guys come up with. So if you'd like to see how I achieve today's look, then please keep on watching. Jumping straight into eyes because anytime you're working with glitter on the eyes, you definitely want to do that first because I think we all know how much glitter drops. So you don't want to ruin the rest of your makeup. So I've already prepped my eyes and, well I mean, I've basically done this one. I've already prepped this eye and I've used the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer in the shade Light 2.5 and the NARS Translucent Light Reflecting Setting Powder. Uh, this is a loose one, and these are basically um, my staple for preparing eyelids for powder eyeshadow. This is the Zoeva Caramel Melange, Melange Palette. You guys know that I love me some Zoeva. So I'm gonna use their eyeshadow palette today. I feel like on video, I use their eyeshadow palettes the least out of all their products, so I'm gonna give this one some love. And I'm going to start with the shade Universal Delight, which is this one here. And I'm using my Zoeva Luxe Crease Brush. And I'm just going to start applying that into my crease and above my crease and also to the main eyelid space. I'm now going to take this shade here, which is called Start Soft on the same brush. And I'm going to apply that to the crease area. Actually, I'm applying that basically to the same area that I just applied Universal Delight. So that was super easy, I know, and I'm now going to go back into Universal Delight and take that underneath my eyes. Ditto for Start Soft. Underneath my eyes, I also like to add a little bit more of a neutral kind of brown. So I'm going to take Finish Sensual, which isn't too warm. And I'm just blending that underneath my eyes too. And I'm using the Detail Shader by Zoeva. You would think by now that I would remember all the names of my Zoeva brushes, but I have to check every single time, even though I use them every single day. And I just blend that out even more with a... Luxe Crease Brush, a clean one. And then going back to my already used Luxe Crease Brush and I'm going to add a slightly uh, warmer tone. This is Aftertaste. And I'm just adding that in that kind of crease area and add a third again, just really, really lightly. Before I move on to glitter, I'm just going to add the Fake Awake Pencil by Tarte on my lower waterline. And on my upper waterline, I'm going to use the Marc Jacobs Highliner Pencil in the shade Blacker. Now for some glitter, and I'm going to be using the Makeup Store. Oh dang, I don't know what this is. I guess it's like a glitter liner and the shade is Queen and... It's really cool because it's kind of clear, but there are different shades of glitter reflect in it. So in some lights it looks golden, in some lights it looks green, in some lights it looks blue. I feel like there's a little bit of pinking there as well. Anyway, this is an awesome product um, just by itself, but also it's really good to um, help stick actual glitter as well. So I'm gonna take this and I'm just going to go underneath in that inner corner first. So you can see that there a little bit. Then I'm going to take the Makeup Store Glitter in Hologram, 
which is kind of similar um, in the way that it kind of reflects all different colors. And honestly, I hardly have any left. I've had these makeup store glitters for years and I've had so much use out of them. It's amazing. And then I'm just gonna take this on an angled brush and place it over the glue or the liner. Back to the liner and I'm now going to take that on the upper inner third. Ooh, so ticklish. And again, go over that with the loose glitter. The inner corners of my eyes don't really do highlighting or like pops of brightness that much justice, I don't think. So if you have like a really kind of um, bare kind of wider inner corner eye, this will look so amazing on you. But I think my inner corner eyes are a little bit hooded, so it's kind of hard to capture the light all at once and the reflect all at once. That is basically almost eyes done. So now onto the Tarte Tartise Mascara. And I love this mascara. For me, my three favorite mascaras are the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir, this Tarte Tartise Mascara, and the Too Faced Better Than Sex. Good products right there. For false lashes, I'm using the Mecca Cosmetica Hypnotize False Lashes. And I do have to trim these to suit my eyes. I like to kind of bend them a little bit first. Even though the kind of spine of these is quite bendy, which is nice, it's not too stiff, but I like to do that anyway. You might be able to see that there's like tiny little bits of the spine of the lash, as I call it, the backbone of the lash sticking out, that little clear bit up the top there. So I'm gonna trim that and then I'm gonna take um, about a quarter of the lash off. And always make sure you cut the lash from the outside Oh shit. Oh, it just pulled and I may have ruined that lash. Let's see if we can salvage it. Um, I was gonna say um, only cut your lashes from the outside because you need the uh, shorter inner area to be there so that the lashes blend in with your natural lashes. I've got my Duo um, Eyelash Adhesive, the dark tone, and I've just popped that on the back of my hand and I'm just going to let that dry for a little second. Also, make sure the tips of your tweezers don't have glue on them before applying lashes because that's how they get stuck to the tweezer and not to your eye. So you can probably see how this is like frayed. That's what got caught on the scissors when I went to cut it. So I'm going to take off this frayed part and try and salvage this little inner bit here. And I'm just going to pop that. Oh man, that looks so short. If I can't use the other end of these lashes, I will grab some individuals and make it up with that. Squish the lash to your natural lashes. I also have these Ardell lash applicators that I find really helpful to just squish the lash down while it's drying. Now I'm gonna grab this other tiny little bit and you know, it's not perfect, but I think that helps a lot. <laughs> and there was no chance I was gonna waste these lashes because I really do love them. Luckily, there is not much fallout with this look, so I don't even have to clean up underneath my eyes. So I'm going to go straight into foundation. Um, a little bit earlier, I did spray the Urban Decay um, Primer Spray on my face, but I think primer is totally up to you and your skin, so you do you, boo. I'm going for a dewy look for this, so I'm going to use the uh, Charlotte Tilbury Light Wonder Foundation in the shade 6 Medium and the Fresh Nude Foundation by The Body Shop in the shade Fiji Sand number 26. I'm mixing these together because I'm too pale just to go in with Charlotte Tilbury right now and I'm not yellow enough to go in with the Fresh Nude in the shade I have. So I'm going to do a mixture and hope that that works out. Yeah, I think that'll blend out okay. And I had to mix it with this um, face shape brush and then I just apply it really roughly with that and then I'll blend it in properly with my buffer brush. 
defined buffer brush by Zoeva. And this blends this formula out perfectly. This formula is actually my daily go-to, particularly if I misshade, like I will use both of those foundations individually, depending on what my skin tone is at that time. But otherwise, I actually mix them together quite a lot and I love the dewy natural finish it gives. And then this eye makeup minus the glitter is also my kind of everyday go-to makeup look. I'm now going to conceal and I'm going back to the um, Soft Matte Complete Concealer by NARS in the shade Light 2.5. And I'm just going to use my concealer buffer brush to apply it. I'm going to take that underneath my eyes. I will have to blend that out a bit more. I'm also going to take that to my chin. I'm going to put some bottom um, mascara on and this is the Feather Noir Mascara by Marc Jacobs and look how teeny tiny it is. This is perfect if you have teeny tiny lashes um, but I also love using it to just blend my falsies into my natural lashes and then to do my bottom lashes as well. Now going to bronze up my face with the Makeup Store Bronzing Powder in the shade Sun Touched. I'm going to start with the Luxe Highlight Brush just so that I can target it into my contours of my cheeks to begin with. And then blending it out with the Luxe Powder Finish Brush. I'm then going to add a peachy glow and this is the Sweet Peach Glow Palette by Too Faced. I'm going to actually start with this bronzy shade and I'm going to apply that over that bronzer that I just used really lightly. I'm then going to take that middle shade, the peach glow, and I'm going to add that to the apples of my cheeks. I like to use the same brush just to keep everything really blended and seamless. Then I'm going to take the highlight shade, which I have not used yet. Pull through Too Faced, I love that highlighter. Just for shits and giggles and a really strong highlight, I'm going to add the Jeffree Star Skin Frost in Peach Goddess. Because a girl can never have too much highlight. And I feel like I've said this a hundred times before, but we apply it to the tops of the cheekbones, tip of the nose and Cupid's bow. Damn, I love that glow. Um, I'm feeling a little bit powdery, so I'm just going to spray with MAC um, Fix Plus. Trying not to get the mascara because I learnt my lesson the other day. I spritzed myself with Fix Plus in store and I had a smudge of mascara underneath my eyes after that. Clearly I needed to check it before I left. Choosing my lip shades has been such a challenge for me this week. I don't know what is going on, but I think I've decided on something peachy, seeing as I went peachy on the cheeks. But to be honest, you could do so many lip shades with this look. I've already done kind of that deep, plummy, burgundy lip, so I didn't want to do that. But that would look amazing with this. A bright red would look amazing with this. Pink would look amazing. Nude would look amazing. And I'm hoping peach will also look amazing. So I'm going to use the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Lip Pencil in the shade Snitch. Actually, I'm going to fill them in with this too because I'm really liking the look of it. Okay, so I'm actually really stoked with that lip shade, so I'm going to highly recommend that one. Also, it's super comfortable to wear on the lips. It's going to last a while because it is a lip liner and it's matte. Um, did I say it's comfortable? It's really comfortable on the lips. Uh, I really hope you enjoyed this look. That is it finished. I just really wanted to be able to show you guys something that is kind of um, more wearable on an everyday basis than some of the other looks that you'll be seeing during glitter week. But this is a nice way to kind of do more of a daytime glitter. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next glitter week tutorial.
Bye.